So for our final question, I wanted to ask in your expert opinion, what are the best, most effective ways to reduce cost and make coverage more affordable for female physicians? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Um, first of all, getting it younger, getting coverage younger. Um, rates are determined by age. The older you are, the higher those rates get. So getting it younger, um, healthier. A lot of times we're healthier when we're younger. Um, and so health obviously plays a huge role um, a role in getting exclusions, and that can even relate to prices, getting increased or rated premiums, meaning an additional cost for any health conditions that you may develop later. So the younger you are, the healthier you are at the time um, is a huge way to get a lower price and lock that in because you lock in these coverages. Um, we sell level policies, meaning that price stays the same over and over for the sa every year for the same amount of coverage. Um, also, when you're younger and you're applying in training, whether that's residency, fellowship, um, we can get these training discounts. They're usually about 20%, which is huge. Um, and so getting that training discount, it stays on your policy for the life of the policy. So you don't have to worry about graduating, leaving training. Even when you graduate as attending physician, you still get to keep that 20% discount, which is so huge for women. Unfortunately, a lot of attending physicians, some employers have discounts, some don't. So applying as attending physician, you may or may not receive discounts, which can be a huge difference in your price um, and just that cost of coverage. That makes sense. And so, you know, really importantly, for the most recent graduates who just, you know, a couple weeks ago, they completed their training, how long do they have to still get those 20% off? training discounts? Yes. So first of all, it's not too late. Um, I would say submit a quote request right away. Um, certain companies will go till the end of the year of your graduation date. Other companies will go 90 days post-graduation, which is usually around September or for those who graduated 630. Um, so I would say submit a quote request. You can find out right away. When you meet with an advisor, just ask, hey, how long do I have to get discounts? I know a lot of clients are kind of taking summer off. You're not getting a paycheck. You're worried about not being able to afford coverage. And we can kind of walk you through, hey, this is your timeline. Um, let's submit an application, which doesn't cost anything, just to lock in that discount. And we can stretch out that process so you get that paycheck. But we can definitely walk you through um, kind of that time limit you have. Um, but definitely submit a quote request right away if you are interested, because usually you have about to the end of the year or about 90 days post-graduation. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so they absolutely, they still have time. And of course, again, you do need to look at this big picture because and I really appreciate this as a surgeon, but most of us are going to need and get disability insurance coverage one way or the other. And so if knowing that now in this sweet spot, you still qualify for a training discount, that does make a huge difference. You know, that's not me doing girl math where I say you could get 20% <laughs> off of a policy now or six months from now, you pay full ticket price, you know, and either way, you're going to need it for the duration of your career and to protect um, you know, our assets, which, yeah, for a lot of us, our hands, certainly all of our minds and, and the billion years that we put into this point of becoming an attending. 